Hi, I'm Lara Killian, editor of the social media column for MLA News. We're coming up on conference season and MLA 2015 will be held in Austin, Texas from May 15th through the 20th. Social networking for professional purposes can really ramp up around conferences, so let's talk about using Twitter effectively ahead of MLA 2015. You may be headed to Austin or want to participate in the conversation from a distance. Whether you are new to Twitter or experienced with the platform and looking to get more out of your conference time, or even if you're unconvinced that Twitter can add to your conference engagement, I hope you'll learn something from this column and I'm looking forward to the conversation on Twitter. So let's talk about those who are new to Twitter first. Many people use Twitter just at conferences and events, so don't worry if tweeting doesn't fit into your everyday life. It's perfectly acceptable to use it how you like. If you haven't set up an account yet, think about a good username and register it. If you're comfortable with a public persona, your real name is a good handle, although you may have to use a middle initial or something like that if your name is already taken. Keep your handle short if possible, as tweets can only be up to 140 characters. When someone replies to your tweet, it takes up space in their response, so you're doing them a favor by having a short handle. Avoid handles with a position title or a location name in case that changes in the future. You can see my column for an article from Twitter support about getting started. As soon as you register your handle, upload a profile image to replace the Twitter egg default image, otherwise people may think it is a spam account. If you use a headshot, which is good for, for professional purposes, try to use one that has good lighting, a positive expression on your face, and is perhaps even a bit asymmetrical as that will help it stand out. Follow a few accounts right away. A good one to start with, of course, is the Medical Library Association account. As the conference approaches, keep an eye on the MLANet15 hashtag and start following a few more users who interest you. Think of hashtags as indexing terms that help group content together. Now that you're all set up, or if you're already on Twitter and want to use it more effectively at conferences, I recommend spending a little time getting set up before you board your flight to Austin, and you'll get more out of Twitter during the conference. This of course includes folks who are at a distance who want to tune in to what's going on but can't attend in person. Check the social media column for a link to a guide about getting Twitter set up on your mobile device. If you have colleagues on Twitter who will be at MLA 2015, consider setting up a list ahead of time. Leading up to CHLA 2014, conference organizers asked attendees to add their names to a list of tweeters, which is a great idea. I added everyone who responded to a public list and shared the link so that others could avoid duplicating the work. It's important to note that you don't have to follow an account to add it to a list. Also, you can subscribe to someone else's list so you don't have to curate your own if you'd like what someone else has already assembled. We plan to cover this more in an upcoming social media column and video. MLA's 2015 registration included space for your Twitter handle, and I saw a public tweet that ID badges will include your handle if you use it when you register, which is great. As the conference approaches and the program is finalized, consider checking for presenters' Twitter accounts and follow them or add them to a list so you can quickly access those usernames to ask questions or give feedback on a session. During the conference, don't try to tweet everything you hear. Tweets should give a taste, not be a transcript. Be selective, tweeting great sound bites, statistics and links, or tweeting just at the end of a session about your impressions. Some people use Twitter to take and share notes about sessions, while others use it as a way to read about a session they couldn't attend in person. Use it however it works for you, and don't feel pressure to participate if you'd benefit more by giving a session your full attention. You can always jot down a few notes and tweet later. The conference hashtag MLANet15 will link together all of the conference-related content, and in Individual sessions may also use a second hashtag to further fine-tune the related tweets. Now for those of you who don't really want to be on Twitter but still want to check out what the conversation is all about, tweets are public so anyone can read them as you probably already realize. Keep in mind that you won't be able to respond or participate without an account. To check in on the conversation around MLA 2015, search at the top of the Twitter homepage for the hashtag MLANet15 and you'll get results that include everything tagged with that hashtag. You can also simply Google the hashtag and you'll get search results that include related tweets and you can click through on any one of those to jump into the conversation. You can find me on Twitter at Lara Killian. I welcome your questions and feedback, and I look forward to the conversation during MLA 2015. And you'll get results that include everything tashed with that hack. Tashed with that hack tag?